My name is Ali Abdullah Skanda. I'm born in Lamu County. I came up in a family of uh, boat building. I feel it is a necessary time for us to make a change on why we are receiving so much pollution in our ocean and what can we make a change about those things. What's particularly fascinating about Lamo is it is a set of islands that are extremely geographically isolated, receiving plastics from all over the world. Plastics washed from as far as Indonesia and China. This is ultimately testimony to this being a global problem. Lamu in itself has serious waste management problems. There's no question about that. A lot of what we've done with this boat is to utilize the boat to showcase um, and inspire and engage people from all around the world. And particularly in East Africa, this wonderful local solution built in a very low-tech environment um, that demonstrates just how valuable the material it is and demonstrates equally that if you can build a boat out of recycled plastic, old waste plastic, then what else can you do with it? The extruder machine is a machine of endless possibilities. It can accommodate many and many tons and products meant for plastics. We only have to be innovative. The vision for us was to bring this all together and create a closed loop economy in Lamu town. We've been able to start collecting plastic and paying for it fairly and most importantly, bringing it into a center, material recovery center, to avoid it going into landfills, to avoid it going into the ocean. At a global level, government's slow to act. We've seen inaction. And what excites me about this is it's community-led action. It's people who are fed up of how things are and people who are innovative and who can see a better future. And I think this is something we can see spreading around the world. It's people using their indigenous knowledge, their skills, their expertise to transform their waste into something that is meaningful to them. So we're doing it with boat building and we see other people being inspired and using it to create stuff that excites them, just like boats excite us. We know that plastic works as a raw material to build boats. There is a dying heritage of boat building over here that has been rapidly eroded because of the use of fiberglass, which is a terrible material because it's unrecyclable. There is a lack of hardwood anymore because there's no more trees to cut down. Imagine being able to take this raw material, this problematic material that is abundant everywhere, and turn that into boats. Our plastic pollution can be handled. When you contain the community, put innovative ideas to practice, you can contain the mess. We are proving it with Lamu. It will replicate with the many other ocean towns. So if we get it right, they will get it right. Are the lessons that we are learning here replicable to other places around the world? I think this is the answers that we are trying to get right now. We've undertaken an expedition to determine the hotspots of where the plastics are accumulating, how bad it is, what kind of plastics they are, how degraded they are, what impact they're having on the mangroves, what impact they're having on the communities, etc. This allows us to create a baseline. And from that baseline, we can now have the scientific evidence to show us and guide us on the right path forward. When that boat is out there sailing, she is testimony, she is first-hand evidence to what is possible. And she's something that the local people can say, wow, this was made by my own community, by my own people. And I think that pride gives us that opportunity to say it is possible.